Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Clay Ramage, and guess what, another Goodwill Bins haul. Um, yeah, we like it, it's good time, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so thank you everyone for coming and joining us on these fun adventures. Um, welcome to any new subscribers who are watching, and uh, thank you so much for all the support you guys have been giving lately. Feel free to um, hit the like button, thumbs up, and uh, give me any comments on stuff. If you're interested in anything, my email's down in the description box you can send me an email and uh you know we can work something out or check for it on in my ebay store um now a lot of the stuff i pick up i try to say if i'm going to put it down the pink elephant or what i think i'm going to do with it i try i don't always succeed but i try so anyway so yeah today was a good day uh at the bins found lots of stuff uh it's been less crowded um, lately, and I think it's due to the whole situation that a lot of people are going out. Um, but yeah, but regardless, I've had great finds, whether it's crowded or whether it's not. So, tell you what, let's just get right into it. Um, some of you may, a long time, long time viewers know that I love uh, artwork. And uh, so one of the prints I found today was this De, De Grazia, and uh, it's the sewing one. See, she's at the sewing machine, old-fashioned treadle machine. Um, there was the glass with it and a backing board, but no frame. So I didn't pick up the glass or the backing board. I just picked up this print, and I'll probably sell it just like this. This one I do plan on taking down to the Pink Elephant to sell. Again, those are, you know, it's a $10 to $15 item. They're not um, that uncommon. So I'll do that. But I did find an original piece of work. Oops this way <laughs> and uh this one is a connect um what's his name again sorry Cranish, k-r-a-n-e-s-h um he's actually fairly well known this one's from 1978 as it's dated and it says why must i plan to watch the sunset question mark we have made so complicated that which was meant to be enjoyed spontaneously so it's really kind of a neat saying beautiful piece of watercolor um, so when I look these up, these are probably 50 to $80, um, already framed, ready to go. So that's kind of nice. So this one I actually will put on eBay. Um, looks like I might need to adjust the frame a little bit. It's coming apart in the corners, but these are easy. All you have to do is adjust the screws and, uh, tighten the frame. So, so yeah, so that was a great find that actually paid for my whole trip because I spent a total of $41. Um, but I did find another piece of artwork. This one is much bigger, and I'm really clumsy today, sorry to say. Um, this is a pheasant print, and it's hand-signed here. Uh, John Wilson. Is this a... Yep. 2007 out of 2,400. So it's a very large edition of the prints. But again, as light as this is, I probably paid 50 cents for it. And uh, wildlife art is very popular. Somebody hung it up just the way it is. So I'll probably hang, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I'll figure that out later. Um, might just put it on Craigslist or something like that. But speaking of artwork, there were a number of, a couple of other frames. This is just a vintage metal frame that somebody has painted white to be trendy. Um... And I was looking for a name to see if it was stamped on here. Excuse me, like made in Italy or something like that. But did not find anything. Um, it's got a nice little hanger on there. So just a nice metal vintage ornate frame. I'll probably just, I'll put it down at the Pink Elephant, the antique store that I sell stuff. And just like it is. I also found bubble wrap. I always pick up bubble wrap at the bins because um, it's practically free. Because it doesn't weigh anything. Then I found this frame. This is actually a plate frame. You can see here these little um, clips are for holding the plate into the circle. This one says Del Mar Art Studio, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, made in Italy. Um, now it does have so, a couple condition issues where the gold leafing is popped off and the gesso. Um, but that's easy to repair actually. And I might do a video on that because I'm doing the series, the how-to series of videos now. Every Thursday I put out a new one. So stay tuned for those. 
Um, the other thing I found was this beanie. You go, why would I get a beanie? Wee! Because you got to continue to have fun even as you get older. But the more important thing is, this is says 1989 Hallmark cards made in Taiwan. Um, it does say non-washable. But uh, yeah, so this is actually a vintage beanie, which I thought was great. I'll put this down at the pink elephant. Just fun novelty item, I think. Picked up some tennis balls. We play tennis. They're still brand new in the pack. You know, and tennis balls are, you know, three and a half to five dollars. I probably paid a dollar for that. So that was a good deal. Found a whole bag of vintage curlers of various types and kinds. And the hair pins, large plastic hair pins. So, yeah, I would, my mom used those curlers when I was a kid. That kind right there. So I had to pick those up. Actually, I've sold some of those in the past, so that's good. I found this, which my wife will be happy. Uh, this is a Norwex. If any of you are familiar with Norwex, they produce a lot of towels, rags, stuff like that, that is embedded with silver to help for antimicrobial properties. But yeah, so I don't even know what this is, but it's a Norwex rag or towel of some sort. So I picked that up. Again, I probably paid 50 cents. And Norwex is very expensive. So that was a good find. I found a bag of jewelry. Now, I did throw a couple other things in here, which I'll show you. Um, but I was waiting to go to this one bin. And I saw the lady actually put the this plastic bin of jewelry back in there. So I don't know if it was already in the bin and she just picked it up to look at it. Or if it was... Um, not in the bin, and, uh, or what? I really don't know. So, I just grabbed it after she was done. So, I haven't even looked at it. Just a bunch of video. The other thing I found was the little stacking Santa. Um, I just found two of them. The littlest one, and this size. So, so yeah, not a full set. But, he'd still be great for the holidays for decorating. I picked him up. And then, i got to find, I'll wait on that one until I find the other one. I found a half of the paper eggs made in Germany. This one's actually a vintage one. Um, and this one has an elf, a goose, and a chick on it. So yeah, so that's a fun one. Then I found a vintage pair of child's sunglasses. I've been finding a lot of sunglasses in the bins lately. This one is a poo. Let me put my hand up here so you can maybe see it a little better. I'm getting a lot of reflection off of these. They're very mirrored. Um, but they say made in Taiwan and marked to Disney on the side. So, yeah, I just thought they were really cute. I picked those up again. Ten cents probably for those because they don't weigh anything. And let's see. Oh, I found this, which I thought was really kind of cool. It's actually a match holder and you can see here the little strike area it's very rough like sandpaper right there so you'd have your matches in this little cubby and then you'd strike it there now there was something else glued here probably a calendar i think because up here it says best of wishes for a prosperous 1917 atwater co-op merck company so more than likely they had originally had a cal small calendar hanging on the bottom of this. So this was one of their little promotional pieces they handed out. But that's quite the promotional piece to hand out as far as size and everything. But I just thought it was pretty cool. So, so yeah. So that's awesome. And again, most of this stuff so far is... I mean, my plan is for it to be down at the Pink Elephant, the antique store. Um, nothing yet for... Well, just the one item I said for eBay. Oh, found a little vintage lamp, um, oil lamp. And I have, I'll have to look for it. I have a small hurricane topper for this. I found it a couple weeks ago at the bins. I just need to figure out where I put it. It's up here somewhere. Then I found this. It's a glass, you know, silk flower. It says you're special on it. Um, made in Taiwan. 
looks like it was originally from Kmart based on the sticker on the bottom. But yeah, somebody tried to sell it at a garage sale for a dollar. But I just thought that was really nice. It's very light too. It weighs hardly anything. Um, I found this this bell. It's a lighthouse bell, which I thought was pretty cool. And all right, then I found a ton of stuff for the backpacks. We do backpacks for the homeless. We put all sorts of different supplies in them. Um, there were a bunch of toothbrushes. These are child's toothbrushes. Here's some more, more like child's toothbrushes. They were adult toothbrushes. I don't even know, but I, there were tons of them, and I picked them all up. Every one of them I could find. And then they also had these small tissue packs. We put those in the backpacks as well. So I found several of those. So yeah. So that's a lot of what I got the backpacks there all right got that out of the way oh and this i think was the top of an avon bottle i think but i picked it up thinking you know somebody could do craft with that crafting of some sort i saw this beautiful fan look at that scene on it i'm not used to seeing them with you know more of a renaissance not even Renaissance, you know, 1800s style, period. So yeah, so that was pretty cool. I do think it's vintage. Um, just looking to see if it has any marks, but none off the top of my head. So yeah, so I found a lot of stuff today. A lot of smalls, again. Found this purse, this embroidered purse, tapestry actually. Um, and it's got this plastic cover and it does have a tag in it that says made in Hong Kong so this is probably from the 60s um, but I've been finding a lot of these little vintage clutch purses oh more Kleenex for the backpacks I found a flask I've sold a number of these um, but this one happens to be a Stanley flask I've never seen one of the Stanley ones now again it's a modern piece but barware and stuff like this sells and sells very quickly so did that i found the bluebird yep found one of these uh there's this one says happy little bluebird signed w ward on the bottom um these are very common but i like these little glass things to put down at the pink elephant and then these were interesting i found two whistles this one with the face on it and the tongue sticking out and it's dated on the back, um, 1974, and it's hard to read, but there's, almost looks like a name maybe of who made it, or maybe who painted it or something, and it's got feet on the bottom, I thought that was pretty cool, and then there was this one as well, this one is yarn, this one has no markings on it, it's just a carved whistle that's been hand painted, but I thought they were, it almost looks like a whale, doesn't it? But yeah, so I think that those would be great little additions to the pink elephant. And then I found two kitties that were originally bought at War Warworths. They still have the tag on them for 10 cents. But one of them was severely broken. So I picked up the other one. And there's the vintage Woolworths tag, 10 cents. I thought that was pretty cool. It's covering up the maker's mark on it. But, um, you know, it's probably an Esco or... Yeah, call her one of those guys. Um, and then there was this whole stack of vintage. Well, first I found this vintage postcard um, printed in Germany. And then I found this postcard, Black Hill, South Dakota. And then I found a whole stack of them, of various postcards from all over. And then when there was even this, it's, it's a postcard but it's of a ticket stub, which I thought was interesting. So yeah, so I have not looked through these. They look like they're postcards from all over the United States and stuff. Baltimore. Oh, that's a nice one. Hot Springs. And there's another Black Hills one. So, so yeah. So again, I'll put these down at the Pink Elephant, for, you know, in a, in a little box. 
to display them. Found this baggie of watches. Uh, again, these are a bunch of, I believe, children's or promotional watches. Yeah, because this one's a Mickey Mouse watch. This one is a Lucky Charms. Medicu. Don't know what that one is. Um, oh, Jurassic Park. Oh, this one's just a watch band. That's a vintage watch band. Made in the USA. Quality. Hmm. That's cool. So yeah, so I have yet to look through this. I just got home and decided to film the video and see what happens. Oh, there's a pretty woman's watch. It's a Sarah Coventry, so that's not an old one. That's a newer watch. Oh, there's another Lucky Charms watch. I'm trying to see if there's something else interesting in here. A Milan. Men's watch. Another watch band. Timex. Yeah, just a nice little mix of... Oh, this was one of them that I could see right away. American flag watch. I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, no number, so it's hard to see. It's called Flag Time. thought that was kind of fun. Oh, I have one of these already. It's the... It's a woman's watch with the... Um, moon. Uh, yeah. So, that looks like about it for that. Let's see if I can dump all of those back in there. So, yeah. So, I now have hundreds of watches. <laughs> Oh, too fun. All right, so this brought back childhood memories, and I, there should have been at least one other figure, but it was not in the bins, but I kept looking. You guys remember this series? I remember it was Sunday mornings on TV, David and Goliath. There was David and his dog, Goliath. This is his sister, and this was his mom. All I could find was mom and the sister, and it's marked on the back. It just says E-L-C-A, um, both of them. So, but I'd never seen them in figurines before, so I had to get them. And I love her expression. It's just hilarious. <laughs> Good stuff, but I remember watching those as a kid. Um, found this Red Wing bowl, compote, whatever you want to call it. It is marked Red Wing on the bottom. And then the model number 5005. Now, typically they would weigh this, and I would pay by the pound, but today they decided that any breakable was 49 cents so i only paid 49 cents for this which i was really glad because those are not that you know valuable to begin with so that means i get to make a little more money on those um so yeah um i picked up these which are the little makeup um they caught what they call them um where is it rounds cosmetic rounds but i use these for um polishing silver for cleaning stuff and that type of stuff so they work really well that way um i pulled this little necklace it's a child's necklace but it's a little butterfly i pulled it out of a bag of a whole bunch of other stuff and i just pulled you know grabbed this because it's a vintage necklace which i thought i just liked it so i grabbed it um i grabbed this it's called the kitchen prayer we could all use more prayer these days it says my kitchen prayer but I noticed down here on the bottom, it says 1944. So I have this, this is a quote. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food from Job 23, 12. So yeah, I thought that's a nice piece for a kitchen. Um, it is a little warped, as you can see. So actually, see, because this is just compressed paper, basically, with the resin in it. Um, so we'll see if it... Uh, Oh, somebody glued a picture of Jesus on there over another picture. That's interesting. wonder what's underneath that. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I picked that up. I picked this up too, which is, and I'm hoping that's what's in here. It says a microscope. 
but I couldn't get it open there, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to, oh, there we go. Oops, afraid I'd never get it open. Yep, it's a microscope. Uh, again, it's, um, it's a child's microscope, a beginner microscope. But um, it's made in Japan, so it's probably, you know, 1970s. Um, and I tried looking up the name of the company, but couldn't find it anywhere. So, um, But with all this homeschooling going on, I thought there might be some people wanting some of these kind of things. So we have that. All right, I'm on to the next video. Like I said, I got a lot. I'm trying to keep these videos fairly short, but when you get a lot of stuff, it's kind of hard. Um, Paps Blue Ribbon Mug. Again, Barwell Barware sells really well. I have trouble with that statement. Down at the Pink Elephant. Um, anything alcohol related. So this was good. This is, um, it's not dated, but it's a thermal serve mug. In great shape. Oh, I forgot about those. My little nightmare this morning. Um, and I picked up a Garfield Have a Nice Day mug. Big fat hairy deal. Um, let's see, this has a date of 1978 on it. Garfield is still very collectible, so that's good. And then I found, look at this vintage servo, thermal serve mug. Um, Definitely 1970s, right? Screams. Ah, Patty. She's missing her mug. So I'll put this down to the pink elephant so when Patty's looking for it, she'll know where to find it. Come down to the pink elephant, Patty, and get your mug. All right. Now, I found these. I was digging through this one bin that had a ton of small glassware. I found these beautiful little pink cups. So there's this one. Then I found another one. And then I found another one. And then I found another one. And as I was putting stuff on the counter, I dropped one and it smashed to bits. So anyway, and it's got a bird on it. I'm no, again, they're very inexpensive pressed glass, but I just like the, like them a lot. I know nothing about them. But that's those. And then I found these Jim Beam whiskey bottles. There's three of them. Um, three different scenes on each one. I won't show each one, but I found these. Again, they're not high dollar items. Um, they're probably, I can, I'm going to list them for like $10 down at the Pink Elephant, $10 each and see, um, cause they don't, yeah, they're, they're pretty common. But again, I didn't pay that much for them. So, cause I, again, they charge me only 49 cents for those, even though in the past they were not they'd make me weigh those. They also charge me 49 cents for this, which they would normally make me um, pay by the pound. But today was a good day. And this is an amazing condition, no chips or cracks. Um, and I always love when you find the original, see those little numbers? That's the price pricing stamp. 45 cents is what the original price would have been at the store. And I know that because when I worked at the grocery store in the 70s we were still using a similar kind of stamp so um yeah so that was a good deal running out of space in here and i found these pink little cordial glasses i found two of these so the other one's in here somewhere um and i found this eagle pitcher and it says right on it um one quarter cup so and I found the one cup that matched it. So I'm sure there's one cup, three quarter cup, half cup, and a quarter cup. Um, but the one cup was broken and I didn't find the other two that probably made up the series. But I did get the little one because somebody may have broken their quarter cup and need one. So you never know. I was excited to find this. It's a little trinket box, but with a bird on top. Somebody had a whole collection of these. Um, because I, I found three tops with birds on them, but I only found one bottom. So, it's really sad. I don't know what happened to the rest of them. I found this um, Louisville stoneware plate of these horses prancing. And it says, especially made for the American Saddle Horse Museum. So this probably was a souvenir piece that was sold through the museum. They probably ordered a special commission. So we'll have to look that up. That might be 
you know, have a little bit of value to it once I look it up. And then I did find some clothes for me. I found a white shirt, nice, very white shirt. Um, it was a Ralph Lauren polo. I needed a good, clean white shirt, so that will work. I also found me a pair of shorts. These are Nautica cargo pants for shorts with the, or they call them painters, I guess, with the loop on there to hang your hammer on. We found some doll clothes. Um, I'm making a lot of old doll clothes. Oh, here's the other pink cup. Oh, that chipped. Thought I just chipped it. <laughs> found a blue bottle. Kind of a nice design. I like that one. And then the last two pieces I found was a green bowl and cup. And if I get my black light, um, what did I do with it? It was right here. Oh, here it is. It was on my desk. That's in my desk. Um, yep. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but, but they, but they, yep, they glow. It's hard to see because it's so bright in here. I won't try anymore. It's because it's a little too bright with the sun shining now that the sun's come out. So yeah, I think that's our haul for today, which was a lot of stuff. Um, but again, a lot of small stuff, a lot of stuff for resale going down to the pink elephant which I'm starting in January I'm going to have a much larger space down there so that'll be nice expanding growing all that good things but anyway thank you guys and uh, thanks for watching we'll catch you next time bye